عليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته Just let me know when to start, Asya. Oh, okay. Asya, I'm Dr. Nai. Okay. Where are you? Um, it's with my name. Let me just see. Someone is there too. I see her. Yeah. Assalamu yeah. alaikum. Islam. Do you feel any better, Saman? Nope. Still pretty okay. much the same. So. And thank you so much for joining us. Uh, here we go with uh, this uh, Noreen Sheikh. We have been waiting for you for so many questions and answers. <laughs> okay. May Allah give me um, uh, strength to answer all the, give you share all the right information with you all. And thank you for giving me this opportunity, Saman and uh, Asya, to speak on this platform. It's such a noble thing that you both are doing. Honestly, I have no words. I always say it. But I have no words at uh, the way you are supporting all the people that are going uh, for Hajj, creating this platform. Like initially when I started off, I was like, oh my God, where am I going to get all the information? But mm -hmm. looking at your videos and mm -hmm. your messages, mashallah, mm -hmm. mashallah. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, mm -hmm. alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's begin with uh, your question session. Would you give it to us, uh, Dr. Mani? Someone's mic is on, like someone and that's yours, I think. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I mean, okay, please. Thank you. Okay, here we begin with your list, uh, Dr. Nai. Okay, so what, uh, what we have aimed for is half an hour and hopefully we'll try to complete it in half an hour. So what we're going to do is, is that me or is it somebody, there's something happening? I don't know, that's uh, Shaheen, I think. Uh, somebody is using the cursor on the screen. Can you stop, please? Okay. All right. That's that's okay. All right. So, Awazubillah Minish Shaitanar Jeem, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Two things that I would like to say before I start is this is just general information. Anybody with health concerns or special needs, they should be contacting their family doctor for any further questions. What I've done is I've done created general list of things that we list of medications and topicals and inhalers and all that stuff that we will be needing during Hajj. And then um, as Asya was mentioning to me uh, repeatedly that there were a lot of questions about birth control pills. So we'll, um, we'll go over that too. All right. Just stop me if you have anything, uh, Asya and Saman, um, and ask questions if you guys, if there's any confusion. All right. There's yes. Four slides. Yeah. Sorry. Say it again. Yes. Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. So we'll just go over these four slides um, uh, quickly. And then I think there are four or five, and then we'll uh, go to the question and answer. Main, main, main thing then when we are, uh, first of all, congratulations to everybody who's been selected. Basically, we've been invited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May he accept all our duas and ibadahs and we keep us healthy. So we don't need all these medications over there. These are just preventative and backup sort of thing. If needed, um, we'll use them. All right. Hydration and sunblock, we'll go at the end. I have, uh, I have another slide on it and we can go in a little bit detail about it. Few things that we should have is, um, God forbid, if we have any blisters or any rashes or anything, we should have uh, polysporin and a mild hydrocortisone, which you can get over the counter. That can be if your skin is going red for any reason, like because of prolonged walking or because of rubbing or friction anywhere where your Vaseline and where your deodorants and stuff are not working and it's itchy a little bit, there you can use that mild hydrocortisone and that'll help. Pain medications, very nicely that one can easily use and safely use if your kidneys and livers are working fine. Um, that uh, The questions I'm thinking, the things are coming up in chat, um, we won't be ignoring that. We will answer all those questions as well, all right? Yes, inshallah, in the, in the last, inshallah. Yeah, so we just, I think we'll go just by one by one and we'll answer all the questions. So the pain medications we'll go over is Tanlol, Advil, uh, basic ones. If you're even having mild pain with walking, and you guys should start walking now because um, Hajj is not easy. There's lots of walking involved, we know that. So if even, start walking now and see, start off with as little as you can. Um, I don't know if you guys wear watches and stuff to kind to your steps. You should, I was listening to a religious lecture and she said, we should be, I thought she said it too much. We should be walking five kilometers. 
Asia and someone yeah, will and comment on it, it. It's not like a five kilometer. It's more than a 10 kilometer. Right. <laughs> 16 <laughs> kilometer it's a too much <laughs> okay all right okay so that then then start walking at least as much and build your stamina because we've got and i usually when when i we, when we got this summer weather i said alhamdulillah that prepares us a little bit to walk in this heat and stuff um and if even if you're having mild pain instead of prolonging it and lingering it on take some tylenol and advil the advil make sure you've got uh, some food in your stomach Maximum doses there on the packages, and you should know these are very basic medications. This is Sorry, Doctor Harding, but uh, I'm in dropping in this. Yeah, no, no. Regarding this Tylenol and Advil, so many people has a migraine problem. Yeah, it's very severe due to the heat and mm -hmm. dehydration. So they can also use the Advil and Tylenol. They, they, if they, they, if they are known patients for uh, migraine, they should have their abortive med medications like sumatriptan. Well, packs and all those medications. Cambia is another good one. It's just like a sachet dissolving it, um, um, dissolving in water and drinking it. That's excellent. That acts right away. Um, ha if you're a person who, if you're a patient who gets migraine, I would have my abortive medications and the uh, Cambia plus Talon and Advil would work too if they have worked in the past for you. So is there any other advice for the migraine patients? So yes. how it's going to be prevented with the, with the migraine thing because of the heat and dehydration, it's happened a lot sometimes. So yes. is anything like medically, we if we are avoiding to taking the medication, can we do it? So, yeah, you mean to, how to prevent the migraine yes. attacks. So see, there's always a trigger for migraine and patients with migraine, they know their triggers very well, right? So avoiding those, Heat and dehydration, we don't have control over it. Water bottles that you've set with electrolytes in it, making sure we are sipping on it. We are not chugging them, checking them like we're drinking the whole bottle together. Please don't do that. Keep sipping mindfully every few minutes. That's very important. If you chug the whole bottle with electrolytes in it, you'll definitely end up with some headaches or you'll definitely end up with some GI like problems. Um, as I'm, I, and I'm repeating myself, Asi, again, people with migraine, they know their triggers and they know how to prevent it. Migraine can be very notorious and nuisance. So please use your, keep your medications, the ones that your doctors have prescribed, like Cambia, Relpax, Sumatriptan, so tons of medication. And people who get frequent headaches, they are uh, prescribed prophylactic medications too. So they should keep ta start taking them every day. That can prevent them from getting getting my. Okay, thank you so much for this advice because uh, some people are might thinking about it. The time of the hush, no, we have to bear each and every. Mm -hmm. But I don't think so. It's gonna work it because you're gonna ruin up your hush time, ending a bad headache. Agreed, agreed. So anything that we can see, body is a mana. So if we can keep it healthy, and we are going for such a noble thing, such a noble ibadah. Why would we want to have migraine during it? Why would we, if it is happening and as Allah is willing to happen, it, it'll happen. But if we can prevent it, we should be able to prevent it, right? We, it doesn't mean that if we're going to Hajj, we should go through body pain as well. No, I don't agree with it. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. No, Let's no, go for the next. Yeah. The anti allergies, people who are allergic to uh, um, seasonal allergies or allergic to new. Um, environment, oral nasal eye drops, they should be aware of it. They, these are, some are prescribed, some are over the ca uh, counter. And if the people want to know the names, we can share the names. Eye drops are usually uh, prescribed. There are some over the counter uh, anti-allergy eye drops too. Antibiotics, two sets of eye, uh, antibiotics, one for upper system and one for lower system. Common ones, if people don't have allergies, are either amoxicillin, zithromax, and ciprofloxacin. But these are also available on pharmacies over there, very commonly available over there. If your doctors are able to prescribe it, well and good. If not, travel vaccine, highly recommended. If you can go do a travel consult, I know it's a little pricey, but you get everything covered in that thing. People who have sensitive stomach, um, IBS, um, change of food, change of water, they'll get um, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting. For them, they should have uh, Imodium. Probiotics, I would start three to four days before travel. Thumbs is for acidity and stuff. Take one every day. It doesn't prevent it. There you won't have an appetite because of the heat, but keep up your fluids. Nausea, vomiting, gravol. Uh, dosages are on the packages. You can take them. It can make you a little drowsy. Try taking one dose less than what it is. Next one, puffers. If people who have uh, asthma, who get breathing issues with walking, 
keep your inhalers in your backpack. I think um, one thing that we missed, uh, you did say medication list in your backpack, yes. right? Yeah. So add your puffers to it. Please don't forget them. You don't want to be running around for them at that point. Have that in your uh, backpack. Uh, blister bandages, very, very, very important. Uh, try your slippers now. Um, they've shared very nice slippers. I already bought them and I'm already walking them with them. I'm, I'm walking at home. I'm already wearing them as here and trying to use them. So blister bandages, if God forbid something goes wrong. Um, and prescription medications, please, please, please take all your prescription medications for the time period you are on. And I would keep them in two separate places in case if they get lost, you should have yes. some in your hand carry and some in your suitcases and keep your prescriptions as well, because there are uh, clinics there. I say you've been there. I say some of you've been there. Yes. So there is a, there are clinic there and most of the prescription ma medication is available from the medical store without you, prescription. you just know the name. Yeah. So to keep the safe site or uh, take a picture in your mobile because it's safe in the, your Google Drive. So mm -hmm. all your prescription medication, you don't have to be dick on your backpack or luggage. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And Perfect. one more question I want to yeah. add here. Uh, Dr. Narin, uh, so many people has a complaint once the environment and the timing, day and night timing changes, they got really constipated. Yep. Should you, they use something like which is like easily they can eat it rather than managing their time and lactose, which is like a liquid they have to uh, keep it in their backpack? What you suggest? Yeah. So see, the best thing at that point is number one, keeping your hydration up, drinking as much water as you can. Mobility should be an issue because you're walking a lot. Fiber with more, try taking more fruits and vegetables there. That gives you more fiber. If you are a person who will get constipated, I would keep two things in pack, which in my uh, luggage, one would be Coles, which is a stool softener. And I'll share the names with you. Um, I'm just going to write them down. Coles yeah. and the other one is Restorelax. If Coles don't work, then Restorelax. That, these two will really help. So it won't make your stomach get upset and you will get the diarrhea? No? Um, depending upon, you need you need to know how to manage it, right? The minute you start okay. noticing that your stools are getting softer, you stop taking the medication and it works. Okay. Right? okay perfect. The Let's go to the next slide. Uh, immunizations, I'm pretty sure we are all up to date immunized with the two mandatory ones are meningitis and COVID, which we have, which because I'm going through Pakistan, so they wanted these two. Uh, records, so we had to provide that. Optional ones are flu, uh, Twinrix, which is hepatitis A and B, cholera, Adacel, which is tetanus and whooping cough, and pneumonia for elderly is must, must, must. The reasons that I've added these, these are the more common diseases that are prevalent and can happen. Cholera, uh, Asi, I know you were asking me after you yeah. mentioned it to me. I went on the internet, I was like, it's not epidemic in, in Saudi Arabia. 18, in the 1830s, there was a uh, like a whole epidemic and thousands and thousands of people ended up dying with cholera. So oh like, my gosh. It's not epidemic right now. It's mostly the contaminated food and water. So if we are okay. watching what we are um, eating and drinking, washing our hands, washing our... Uh, I think their system is also getting better by the air passing in. Yeah. And yeah. Alhamdulillah, they will be managed like how to secure their food in the heat and everything. Exactly. But if you can, if you have insurance and if you can afford it, go ahead and get it. It's two doses and uh, we're a little, you should be getting the second dose now, but that's okay. It's two doses. It should first dose and the the the, the uh, gap between the two doses is supposed to be minimum of one to six weeks. So we still have it. If you get one dose now, one dose one week later, it'll you'll get some benefit, not a hundred percent benefit, but some benefit. Tetanus, okay. uh, whooping cough. Because last time when I was at Umrah, I was listening to people and I'm going, okay, that person has bronchitis, that has whooping cough. So I said, okay, next time I go, I'll get my tetanus uh, uh, Adacel booster which has the whooping cough. So if you haven't had that, go, it's free, your family doctor. If you haven't had it in 10 years, you usually get it during the physical time. Pneumonia, elder, must, must, must. Um, not recommended for anybody. It is it is, it is, is okay for 18 and up. If you're a person who gets recurrent pneumonias and chest infections, go ahead and get it. It's not covered though. You'll have to, you'll have to oh, get okay. it. And can I have one more question here in the vaccination? Because you are also going through the Pakistani passport. So is it the requirement between the Pakistani passport, you must have to done the polio vaccine? They didn't ask me to do that. I've just got meningitis and COVID. That's all these two they asked. Yeah. And Alhamdulillah, once you'll get your visa, you don't have to worry about any yeah, other. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So even if they're asking for polio vaccine, Adacil polio one dose from your family doctor and you're good. And it's, you know, I don't think so. You have to even pay for it. Okay, perfect.
Yeah, every every place has their own requirement. That's it. And I know that you had a question regarding meningitis vaccine, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, meningitis vaccine. Like there is a lot of issues. People said like the meningitis vaccine, if you have been done that so far in between the five years of the time, you don't have to repeat it. Yeah. So like if, within a three months, like. Yeah, if you've had it done within five years, you don't need a booster. Okay. But if it has been over five years, you need a booster for sure. Okay. Right, five years, and you can have it multiple times. Where uh, I know some places, uh, I I follow the CDC guidelines, and it usually um, says that if you've had it in five years, repeat it again in five years, because if you're going to, if you're high risk or going to places which is there going to be huge gathering, and what means yes, Hajj is going to be a huge one, and if you yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. So if you have it's more than a huge gathering and <laughs> we'll have like, examined that <laughs> and it's it's something above and beyond our imagination once we look at it in the tv and mm. we look back and we're thinking like are we oh, of this how inshallah but still blessed i'm happy want to be among them <laughs> inshallah, inshallah okay so there's a lots of questions i know about the uh, birth control pills the, the ones that i highly recommend to stop your periods is pamela 10 one tablet tid um, should be started three to four days before your uh, periods easily can go up to 10 to 14 days and you can stop it's in your control once you you think you're done with all your religious ritual rituals and stuff you want to stop you stop if you want to continue continue max up to 14 days some people can continue up to three weeks too but the earlier you stop the better better it is and then you get your periods within three to four days some people period, people will get it the next day if you are getting your periods on or you're spotting on top of this, then there are other medications like cyclocapron, which is a medication which is not a hormone, but stops your bleeding right away. What it does, it um, prevents the bleeding from the clots. So that way it's not stopping your bleeding. It's just stopping the clots to bleed. So that's what it is. But you have to go through contraindications, um, talk to your doctor about it. And I, I'm pretty sure these are pretty nicely available over the counter. People on other uh, oral contraceptive pills would have started at least two to three months before. They're taking it continuously. They shouldn't be taking the um, uh, discolored one. They should be just taking the one kind color throughout till they return. Or when, they're, when, they're, when they want to get their periods, they can stop and the periods will happen within three to four days. IUDs, uh, actually I had one friend who had an IUD and then I had to consult a gynecologist. She was spotting even with IUDs. So I got the recommendations from the gynecologist saying you're okay to start on a birth control pill. And I started her on a combined birth control pill. And I didn't go for the low dose one. I went on the higher dose one. I said, because we need to make sure that it stopped. And alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, it has stopped. I hope it has. I hope she's there. <laughs> she's yeah. There. I mean, yeah. She didn't complain. So I'm, I'm hoping uh, it stopped. Yeah. So those are the few options. And then we'll deal with the questions as they come along. Okay, one more question yeah. I want to add it here, Primatol and um, the, uh, that medication, the, which is very common in the Saudi Arabia, you will be able to find it. It's not available in Canada. So lots of doctors said like this medication is equal to that this medication. So you will be able to see that the slides or the medication which they want to compare with the Primatol. And according to your knowledge, like is there any medication in the Canada which is equal to the Primatol and this is, the, we have, it's called, um, what is it called? Uh, they, see, now I'm having a brain. I think it's called Provera. We have it here. We yeah, have and it is the, exactly the work, like same as the Primatol. See, some, it's some ingredients, the, the way they are made, the may, it can be different. I've heard this many a times that mm -hmm. medications from uh, Middle East and Pakistan will work more as compared to here. I've got mixed messages, Asya. I've had, yeah. I've prescribed uh, this medication. Very rarely do I get back to saying that it didn't work. Okay. 70, 80 percent of the times I've forgotten that it has worked. So I I believe like it's depending on your own exactly too. exactly because exactly. Uh, one more question I want to add it here because Primatol and I use that tablet like four days before my periods three times a day. So yep. suggesting one tablet a day or three tablets three. No tablets. no no no. I would suggest uh, three tablets a day. Like if somebody is very very petite petite like young girls, I would mm -hmm. say yeah, two tablets is fine. Women uh, had children uh, little uh, uh, towards the little towards the heavy side go with the three three tablets. You want to do the maximum dose and get the maximum results, right? You don't want to get yeah. Uh, so uh, there is no side effect of this medication compared to the birth control pill. This is also a birth control pill, um, um, uh, Asya. This is also a birth control pill. Every medication has side effects: nausea, okay. GI side effects, headaches. 
uh, spontaneous. Mm -hmm. uh, name it. There are medical side effects. Yeah. You you do it. You're weighing the risk versus benefits, right? So yeah, I can understand. Don't have any choice. Last right? year, once we are in the Mina camp, so many of like our like a hujaj friend, they have been using the common medication which available in Canada, and they all started just one or two week before their journey, and they are ended up where their heavy cycle of bleeding over there. Oh. Okay. And I don't know, it's because of the heat and the stress of the yeah. body and the side effects, but yeah. I feel like so bad for them because they are not able to perform the tawafe hifaza yeah. because we don't have enough time. Yeah, yeah. So are you yeah, suggesting yeah. something for them? Like if yeah. this kind of situation can happen, I know it's a qadar Allah, you can just tie your camel. Exactly. The, the, um, uh, Non-hormonal, the psychocapra, uh, the last one, the fourth one. Okay. Psychocapron, and I've heard that there are some injections over there that they give it in the camps. So I think you were telling me, Asya, right? They give yes, yes, yes. To stop the bleeding. Yes. So there are other options. Regardless, regardless, whatever you do, sometimes you max efforts. If it is going to happen, it's going to happen. You, you don't yes, have control. You cannot anything. do anything. You cannot. It's Allah's will. We can't do anything, but we can try to prevent it. Yeah. Um, I'm reading just this comment. Doctor recommend me to take norethrone, which has the same formula. Yes, that's what Provera is. Exactly. That's the same as Pro Primolitin. Primolitin. This is what Asi was saying. Um, but somehow we get this message from various places saying one in Canada is not that effective as uh, Middle East and uh, Pakistan. But honestly, I'll say it's mixed mess messages that I get. I have yes. prescribed eight, like 70, 80% of the time, my patients don't complain. They're fine. With so what you suggest the uh, lady <laughs> over there, uh, all the ladies in uh, Canada, like if they are uh, far away from their period yep. cycle, do they get the medication from there or should they start this one? I would start. Like the plan should be that I would, if I don't have any option that I can get it from other places, I would get it from my doctor. The program, okay. five milligrams, start three tablets at least three to four days. Uh, and go there and if you are still thinking that if this doesn't work, get it from by there and then start. And we can switch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same, it's the same, it's the same uh, uh, ingredient. Okay. Same ingredient. So we can switch that medication exactly yeah. the same time. Exactly. Uh, meanwhle, we can start this. Yeah. So can you exactly. tell this by like, this part like again, like then the other people? Sure, will... sure. So see the medication Provera, which is um kind of promo because the ingredient in it is the same as primalit N. If you have doubts that primalit N is not going to work and you don't, you cannot get primalit N from anywhere, start the medication that your doctor has given you. One tablet, it's five milligrams. Dose is one tablet, three times, two, ta two times a day or three times a day. I usually recommend people going on a hutch to take it three times a day. If you have doubt that this medication is not going to work and believe that the medication over there is going to work buy it and start that medication on cycle other thing about this medication is this medication should be taken on time set alarms in your phone like it i can't stress enough every eight hours the minute you go up and down the reason yes it will it will because once we will be exactly. closed by our word uh period date once i was using that tablet i will yeah. like a cramp like like a period going to be happen if i delay once i came back to my home I was planning to stop my medication uh, after a one day. I stopped it and uh, next morning I'll have my periods back. There you go. That, that's what it is, right? So make sure, I'm, I've seen my daughters when they're on their birth control pills, say uh, for their periods, irregularities or stuff, they will always put alarm and they'll take it on the same time. So that's what I'm going to suggest, please. I learned this from them that please put alarm in every eight hours. Yeah, okay. okay. So here are the other things. Okay. So very miscellaneous ones, obviously hydration. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys went over it. Some uh, hydration sachets, keep them in your uh, backpacks, put them in the water. Please, please, please use them. It's so high temperature there. You don't want to be dehydrated. Um, sunblocks, um, it's SP30, SP50. SP50, they say you're like 98% uh, protected from any kinds of heat and everything. Um, 10 minutes into this, uh, into sun, you start getting sunburns and you start noticing effects. So please make sure that uh, you're using sunblocks and reapplying it in a couple hours again if they've gone. Compression socks, Asya. I added this because you mentioned it to me. Yeah, thank uh, you. Please don't wear them. It's going to be the damn hot there. I'm going to suggest a few things. Yeah, wh whenever you get a break, please sit and keep your feet elevated. Like whenever, wherever you get a chance, put your backpack, put your feet up. 
Um, other thing that you can, if you have some lighter compression socks with a lighter material, please go ahead and use it. Otherwise, you're going to end up with um, blisters and stuff with it. Tensor bandage is another thing that you can use or any soft um, cloth that you can use to tie it around your feet, which is breathable when you're sitting and sleeping, that will help. Um, uh, um, if there are any other options that we can come up, we'll share. Snacks, people who are diabetic or who go hypoglycemic or low sugars, please always have snacks in your backpacks. Right. So people on insulin, people on sugar medications, people on thyroid medications, any, any, any medications, you can go hypoglycemic and you can go low sugars, have snacks. You should know what works for you. Sugary drinks, sugary candies, like please have them. Uh, you don't want to end up in shock or something uh, fainting there. So have that in your backpack. You'd rather have high sugars than low sugars. Please do. Can you also suggest the something for the people who are very, very low in iron? Yeah, because yeah. over there in Canada, they have been using so many uh, food yeah. diet and uh, drinks and something. But oh, uh, once they are in the journey of the Hajj, it would be hard to focus on the diet stuff. Diet and stuff, yeah. So see, you still have two weeks. Honestly, you still have two weeks. Build yourself up with my micronutrients. I started multivitamins at least six weeks ago. And the one that I'm taking, I shouldn't be. I'm taking the pregnancy one because it's got good folic acid. It's yeah, good I iron. So I've started Pregvit. I take one pear pill in the morning, which is iron, and one pill, the calcium pill in the night. Then I've noticed already that I've got a bit of energy. So get some, any kind of multivitamin that you can tolerate. If you cannot tolerate adult multivitamins, because I know patients who have issues with stomach and urinary symptoms with multivitamins, take pediatric vitamins, guys. Just take something in some form. There, it's going to be hard. Go ahead. I see. I'm seeing you. Yes. Uh, one more question. Like, because yeah. I was thinking about my mother in law, she's also traveling um, this year, inshallah, for the Hajj. She is like a very, very anemic, and doctors suggest some three times a day uh, iron tablet. Yeah. But does she eat the iron tablet? It make her stomach upset, sometimes constipated, sometimes feeling really, really yeah. not eating at all uh, all day. So um, for her, like if I can, if she can able to use the prenatal multivitamins, is it fine? Because she's at the, about the age um, of I, No, I won't recommend for her. I would recommend for her the, um, if she's having, is she having constipation and stuff you said with the thing? Sometime once the okay. time has changed. So I would get her the liquid, uh, liquid palifer, the pediatric one, which okay. is also over the counter. Or the other thing that has worked is Paramax in, in the powder form. That yes. mix it in water and give it to her. That is not that upsetting to the stomach and is good iron absorption. And there's another one. Uh, M -E -M you can write it on the site. I of will. It. I will. I'll, I'll, I'll share these names. Here after you. that, you can share it. I will do it. I'll do it. Sorry, we will do like your work. <laughs> I'll, I'll share it with you and then you can share it in the groups. I'll see you. Okay. And regarding like uh, this, the folic acid and stuff, because once I was leaving, you remember, like I get the blister all over yep. my lips. Yep. So you suggest me like the folic acid and it work amazingly over there because yep. I, like once I'm landing there after a few days, the blister will start coming back. Yep. Start yep. Folic acid, uh, eating folic acid and it will help me a lot. Yeah. So don't go just with folic acid, just go with a multivitamin or a B complex, okay. which will have everything in it. Right, you don't want okay. to specifically go with anything. Yeah, if you have symptoms, then we go with specific vitamins. But at this point, just a multivitamin to cover all the micronutrients. Okay. All right. Someone okay. was trying to say something in between. Someone did I did I miss miss you trying to say something? Oh, she's gone. Someone. No, 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 nothing. I wasn't saying okay. anything. I was just uh, when you were talking about the period medication, I was um, uh, I was just wondering if there is a different in. Um, you know, you were saying it has same ingredients. So I was wondering yeah. maybe maybe the Primalot has, um, maybe one of the ingredients is more in there mm -hmm. uh, in, uh -huh. in a more dosage or whatever, whatever. But um, the, I was that I was just wondering, yeah. nothing important. It's, it's basically the hormone and the hormone is the same. I looked at it. It's five milligrams. The, I think it's nor nor ethisterone. That's what it is in Primalot 10. Um, so I think it's the same, but I think the make or stuff, Maybe different, you know, it's like a something like a brand, a Nike brand and a Chinese brand, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I'm just making it up. Nothing. Go ahead. Questions? Yes, here's our questions. I'll be traveling for Hajj on a Pakistani passport. It is a requirement for all South Asian to be polio vaccinated. I think we are done with this question. Yeah. Polio, polio vaccine. Uh, uh, yes. Family doctor, Adesil Polio, if you want to write out that name. It's called Adesil Polio. 
I don't know what Indio is. I'll have to look at it. This medication, uh, I got it from Saudi and start four days before my time. Obviously, I had very good experience with this and it didn't disturb my cycles. Yeah, that's Primer 10. Perfect. So it's, see, it's five milligrams. Um, so as I said, if you have doubts about here, start here and um, get this one from there and start. Okay, so this one is, I think, the same as Psychocapron. Uh, is for times when menstrual bleeding is not stopping. As I said, this is not hormone. And this <laughs> has to be prescribed by some doctor ruling out your um, bleeding disorders and all that before starting this medication. It's a very good medication and it will, will stop your periods. Uh, I just started Alicina 21 on day one of my June cycle. I do not know if it will be effective as my next cycle will fall during Hajj days. My question is, as one of sisters uh, to clock, clock things sideways, can I just start taking on my supposed cycle day one along? No, nope, nope, nope. You cannot do that. Sorry. What you need to do is continue with birth control pills. Um, and 21, Alicina 21 needs to continue more like you you shouldn't be uh, taking any white this one would should be just be hormone and just continue with the hormone again you can take the dice dicinone on top of this thing you can take it as a preventative thing it is very that medication is used for very short period not more than four five days and it's one to two pills one to three times per day but what i've heard from patients one pill works and then you just use it as needed. Yes. Answers the question, uh, Asi? Right? I yes. wanted to post my question for tonight's uh, Q&A with Dr. My gynecologist described for daily use, not late, take three times. What is SLIND? I don't know what that is. Daily use for not, I'll look it up and I'll answer that. SLIND. Uh, daily, that not is your primary tent. Take three times a day, three days before your period. The problem is I have always have a regular period, so I won't know when to start a main problem. Should I just start it at the beginning of the hurt, hudge or if I see spotting? Also, if you, your period has already started, will this medication stop it? So see, just to be on the safe side, you, you, your, your situation is a little challenging situation. And I hope and my prayers, sincere prayers that you don't get your periods before that. Regardless what it is, if it is going to happen, it's going to happen. What I would do is I would start the medication four days before the travel and then continue it throughout my Hajj, the usual way I do it. And if I get my periods, then I would, uh, if I spot in between, then I would use the other medication. That you'll have to get it uh, prescribed from. And I think that one you can, you can even get it over the counter over there. Not sure, but you can. Yes, you can get it over the counter so because go. I there got it go. my over the counter. There you go. So uh, keep that name handy. If you're getting it over the counter, then if you're getting your spotting or periods with this medication, start taking it. As I said, you can take one pill, one to two pills, three times a day. It will be on the box for not more than five days, dear. Okay. It's the same, same one? Yes. Uh, same medication. This is the same thing as Primal 10. So they started, like the people should have started this one here. And once they'll be uh, reaching Makkah, they will get that other one. Primal 10. Or if this has, this is not doing any harm to them, continue with this. Okay. Birth controls bought here don't really work. I know so many of my friends had very many, uh, very many complications. They still got their periods even after stay, uh, starting taking these pills months ago. Once the period started again, they bled profusely for a month. Two of my friends got fibroid later, subhanAllah. So my friends uh, recommend taking pills in Medina, Makkah. When you start to see spotting on first day, it stopped completely after 24 days. Which medication? What pills? Ah. Okay, so fibroids cannot happen later. Fibroids were always there. They must be diagnosed um, um, later. Maybe she was never had an investigation done. Um, the, uh, uh, I, I, many ladies go through this thing. And I, if it is meant to be, ladies, it's going to happen. We don't just have to Allah. Yeah. You cannot it's, do anything. It's, yeah, it's Allah's will. We can just pray. And the best thing that we can do for ourselves is please don't stress out. The more we stress, the more harm we are ca causing it. Make yes. sure that this doesn't happen and take your pills. That's pretty much it. it that is a really challenging for the woman. Mm -hmm. 
it is it's really hard like i heard always in the stories of hadith and here there the hajj is for the woman like a jihad and it yes. is it is, it is it is that inside our thing. body we have to be suffering so much like agreed agreed like you can't so you suggest in all of these cases you suggest like you should start your medication four days before or time before i had not once you see your bleeding right no i wouldn't i would if you are a person who has irregular periods and you think you'll get your periods during uh, during hajj time or maybe if there's a maybe question i won't wait for any chances i would just start the medications like what okay. where there should be no maybe if we have a if we have an option i would have an option so this is this is a birth control pill a very good birth control pill they, this should be started at least a couple of months before we start um, before we go to hajj and you just keep taking it throughout the so if someone is planning to take this medication now so no, it's, it's too hard. late so it's they late. have to wait and get the other yes, one yes right? yeah. you can start it you can start it if you want to but it's late. I usually say these are the medications ideally, ideally should be started at least two to three months. So you oh. have control over your cycles. You can say, hey, this didn't work. I need to try something else. So we do something stronger. Okay. Like yeah. My question is also uh, same subject. Has anyone taken medication? Yeah, this is what I answered. I, con yes. I consulted the gynecologist and yes, you can. You can take a combined, the one, the LS that you just showed before or even the other one, the primal ten, one of the two. I would, if I were given the choice, I would do the LS and keep taking it on my IUD. I think it's the same question. Yeah. I started Mirval a few days after my May period and it didn't stop it, even slow it down. I keep taking it daily, hoping my June one doesn't come. Did you start this before your May period or after? It's a, I've been taking it for the past year, but I got my periods last week and it still is going on. Um, I think what what is a uh, I think the chat is coming up here, so it's gonna. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, did you ask your doctor? Maybe you need. Yeah, I agree. This is this is very whoever commented this thing. Good comment. Consult your doctor. She'll put you on a stronger birth control pill. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the right answer. I would have said the, said the same thing. I would do because the birth control pills have um, uh, strengths, right? So we start with low, we go to moderate, we go to high. If you're still bleeding with those birth control pills, we give you a higher, higher concentration one. Just sounds like your upset is working right now for you. We well, I supposed to be higher dose for your doctor. Yeah, just consult your doctor. They will help you. They have they have a list. What I have, I have a chart of birth control pill. I just go, okay, so that's the reason I say you should start three months before. If that didn't work, we go to the next one. If that didn't work, then we go to the next one. If it is still happening, then we go. You know what, Noreen? I feel like so many uh, people who never had a birth control pill ever in their life, they don't know when to go to the doctor to ask this medication. Yes. So yes. really late. And even yes. the doctor cannot help in this case. Yeah. yeah. They are thinking I, like, we are just take a one tablet of Advil Tylenol. <laughs> then it will go. You know what? That now is the time. Like people who go to Hajj, like what you guys are doing to spread the word, especially the women. The, if you're planning to go to Hajj, please go to your doctor three months before and start your birth control pill so that you, you don't, you're not dealing with the periods issues at the last minute. But right. as I say, if it is some ladies, they deal with, with the last minute too, so we don't have control over it. But there is a structured thing that we can do, which I've already recommended. Birth controls from Canada really suck. It messed in my cycle. That's not sure why, but the Saudi did not. So there you go. But that's what the same thing. Yeah, that's uh, almost the yeah. same. I am 51 years old. Periods are not regular for the last six months. It comes 10 to 15 days gap. Flow is regular. Uh, and at last, please advise if priorogenin will be effective for me and how much should be the dose. So yes, so perimenopausal, uh, start for four, three to four days before, five milligrams, three times a day. Continue taking it and you're safely good to take it for 10 to 14 days and then stop. Okay. Um, when we're, since we're talking about menopausal, um, so I'm 37 years old and, uh, Dr. Noreen, you know, all my situation, right? I, my period has not been regular for the past few years. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was taking the tablet from here. Mm -hmm. And so I guess because of, I mean, on a regular day, nothing would have happened, but I guess because of extra walking and all that, uh, fatigue, I did yep. end up getting my period. Mm -hmm. Um, so the primalut at that point did not help me. I did take it for a day and nothing happened. Mm -hmm. So obviously because I was at Hajj and I limited days, I got worried, right? So I ended up taking the other one in the red box, which yep. is, which is 
I think Dicotone or something. Were you already taking Prevalu 10 summits? No, 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 no. I was taking the one from here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you were taking one from here and it didn't work. And when you got the Prevalu 10, it didn't do anything over there. Yeah, because I think what what happened was because I was taking the one from here. And, you know, the I was there for like, so prior to Hajj, we were there five days. Mm -hmm. And then we did Hajj, we did Arafat. um, And then after Arafat, the next day or maybe the day after, I can't remember properly. But I got my I got my period because of walking. I guess we were walking such long distances to for stoning. Mm -hmm. And -hmm. we were walking a lot. And then I ended up getting it. And I think it it was the reason Primula didn't help me at that time was because um i was the tablet i was taking from here I, when that stopped working it was a very heavy bleed uh, how long you see what you i mean taking it for someone uh the tablet from here i mm. was taking it uh, i think i can't remember maybe mm, mm, i was taking it prior to traveling three days before traveling uh traveling from here and yeah. um, I think that tablet was is actually used also to induce periods at times. Uh, so that is if you stop. No, so I didn't stop. I didn't skip or yeah, anything. Yeah, I think yeah. it just. Oh yeah. Okay. So what happened was yeah, I didn't stop. I didn't skip. I think it's just because of extra fatigue or whatever. But I got my yeah. period and it came yeah, in a so heavy. That's what I say, right? So then yeah. you needed something else. So with the, yeah, so it was really heavy when it came in. It came yeah. in heavy. So Primalut couldn't stop that heaviness. Then I had to take the red one, and the red one did stop it. That's the same thing as the cycle. Yeah. So that's I, that's except, the very thing. Yeah. with a lot of cramps okay and i i'm not a person who gets cramps yeah. to begin with yeah. um i've never actually had the trouble of you know yeah. period cramps and all of that yeah. but um but this time it was really killing me killing me to the point where my my hudge yeah. partners asia and kiran could they were looking at my face at times and they because like, look someone's pale. face once she's standing in the lineup for the rosa of her face looked like uh white it's looked like yeah. she yeah. Feel yeah. and yeah. she feel like a low low in bp or something is happening to her yellow white yeah. we can feel it like someone is going to be faint so soon yeah yeah I so go ahead sorry yeah so i did end up running to the room each time that happened to me each time i looked pale and each yeah. time it was a bleed and so i yeah. had to do my yeah. Yeah. but then yeah so what i was saying that yeah it does help i mean i guess you make your best judgment um, if one tablet doesn't work, it were you know you can take the other. But what I was wondering was that what do people who you know have had blood clot problems in the past, or any other such uh, issues uh, within their body, like they you can. know, that's what I say. They shouldn't. Medica- okay. Yeah, these medications okay. then they only go. They can go with Prevalent N, but they can't go with these LS, uh, uh, the the ones that Mirvala and all those combined pills. You can. The other ones you can. Okay. So they, 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 those are the questions that has, it's an individual case, someone that you're asking has to be dealt with the family doctor. It's not a general thing that anybody can take it. Anybody with migraine, with aura, with past history of cancers, past history of liver. So these medications are not just prescribed like that. You'll always see when your doctor is prescribing you those medications, they'll always ask you um, your past health, uh, rule out the risk, uh, contraindications, indications, risk factors, and then give it to you. Right. So basically what you're saying is that anybody who has had any past issues yeah. or current issues, they should definitely visit their doctor before they leave. Yes. Because in Saudi Arabia, the pharmacist is not going to ask you any. Obviously, it's a pharmacist. He's, yes. just, he's just giving out medication. They can just give you a whole like, bunch of the pack. I was, that's what I said. You know, when that happens, I was like, mm, okay. I'm like, no, no, no. My sister mm-hmm. asked me, I said, please don't, please don't. Because she had some issues. Uh, uh, yeah. I wasn't my sister. It was somebody else. And I said, please don't. You've had a history of something else. And um, yeah, it has to go through your family doctor. What are some recommendations you would have for some people like who are diabetic, who have, who usually take insulin um, or like who have, you know, uh, blood pressure or heart problems? It, it is a lot of walking. Yes. Um, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know, so, food is sometimes you don't feel really hungry and sometimes maybe you're stuck in a crowd and you won't, you might not be able to get food when you should have it or your sugar is going low. Like what are some tips and recommendations tips and, yeah. you can do? Number one, number one, keeping yourself hydrated with those electrolytes having some snack in your backpack always 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 people with diabetics on insulin and um, pills they know how to lower the dosages when they're going in the hypoglycemic stage or when they're going through stress i usually tell my patients to lower the depending upon their past results 
and depending upon what they're going into, which circumstances they're going into, I'll recommend to them that to decrease their insulin dose or decrease their uh, diabetic medications. And patients with diabetics, they're very well aware of their hypoglycemic symptoms. So they shouldn't be taking their med medications on the usual dose. They should always back off a little bit. And keeping snacks, uh, sugary snacks in their back, the best is like fluids, juices, and IV fluids and stuff, and some chocolates and snacks always in your backpack. Anybody with illnesses, um, blood pressure, diabetes, heart problems, thyroid problems, have your blood work done at least six to eight weeks prior to your travel. If you haven't had it done till yet, have it done. Still time to make changes to your current uh, treatment plan. Okay. So this is another question which we saw. I think like you are. Assalamu alaikum. First of all, I wanted to thank Dr. Most welcome for taking the time out. In, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. Ameen, Ameen. My question is that I'm perimenopausal. and oh. haven't had my period since February. This is the last time I had in November, December, January, and Feb and haven't had after. I'm skimming through it because I know where she's yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to let you know, I will be 45, inshallah, next week. My doctor has prescribed me Lanessa. So when do I start it and what are the side effects? And what if I don't take it? Um, uh, what is it will be a problem for me uh, as I'm already haven't had my peers. Okay, Missy, you have perimenopausal. You can't take any chances and I've answered this before. So you you can either do this one um, and you should start it now. Like uh, I would start taking it now. I would take two packs. I would start taking it now and continue taking it uh, throughout my Hajj period. Or the other option is if you are a person who, who's just spotting because you're very perimenopausal, you can just take the simple version of the, uh, the Primula 10 or the Provera that we can get from here, five milligrams three times a day and take it, uh, start three to four days before, and then continue taking it um, during your Hajj time, and then stop when all your rituals are done. I would, if I were you, I would do the uh, Provera one. I wouldn't do this one. But if you have already started this one, then continue taking it till you finish all your rituals. Don't stop, don't miss. Same time every day, set an alarm. Okay, perfect. Some people have already serious issues holding Vidu. Is there any way to uh, help control it? Because as you are going to washroom and harem is difficult at time. Hajj, please give some advice and suggestion in light of your medical knowledge. Okay, so this is a very loaded question. How cannot you hold your Vidu? Are you passing gases? That I don't have control over. Are you losing control of your bladder? Then yeah, I think the bladder is the main problem for the yeah. Yeah. So if you're talking about bladder, then your bladder should have been, and this is mostly concerned with ladies who've had kids who have constipation or a little bit heavy, towards the heavier side. They will leak urine with laughing, coughing or stuff like that. They should have been tested. And there is a medication which we prescribe very uh, nicely and easily for overactive bladder. That's what we say. And that holds your bladder and you have control over it. You but that needs to be assessed. Like you have to have a urine test done. You need to have an ultrasound done to see there's nothing else going on. You shouldn't be losing bladder issue. Uh, you shouldn't be losing your bladder control just like that. That should be checked. Um, number two is, uh, I, I wouldn't recommend less fluids. I would say continue taking fluids, but timed voiding is other thing that I would suggest. Go to the washroom every two, two hours and empty your bladder out. If you're a person who uh, who thinks that who will lose control of your bladder, time voiding, please go to the washroom every two to three hours. Do it um, uh, so that you're not waiting for the last minute thing. And, and I think control. like uh, uh, in the practical uh, advice, once we went last year for the Hajj, there is a new area of the um, Masjid Haram, which is like a King Abdul Aziz uh, construction. On that area, the washroom is very, very nearby the Masjid area, just okay. a few steps away. And the way, like if you are the other side of the haram, which is like a front of the uh, clock tower, it would be really, really hard to get into the washroom. It's a five meter walk from yeah. side of haram to outside. And over there is just like a five minute walk or less than five minute walk from the masjid area to the washroom area because King Abdul Aziz's new construction area is really nearby. The washroom is very near to the masjid, mm. that area. So I would just give them a suggestion yeah. like, can sit over there rather than sitting other way. Other. The other thing is that the panty liners or pads, wear those. So you just take it out, throw it and just wash yourself. 
Like, you know, if you, if you, if Allah understands it, right? Like if you're a person who, if you, if you, who's going to be losing control, keep, keep a pa pack of pads, put it on. Once you think you've done it, just throw it out and wash yourself, make Vidu wash yourself. And I think it should be okay. Allah, Allah, Allah understands that it's not that you're doing it purposely. It's a medical reason that is happening, right? Yeah, may Allah reward them. Even though mm -hmm. the difficulty, mm -hmm. it was so hard because mm -hmm. so old people has this issue yeah. and yeah. the old elderly people yeah. and it would be really hard for the time of the Hajj because so many people think like we like not drink something yeah. we are one going to the washroom but they are ended up with the low of the energy and what's going to happen with that humid weather with them. Okay. Okay. May Allah make it easy <laughs> Yeah. Nobody so that's the last question. Okay, that's so that's all. Uh, just go quickly over the chat box. And yes, uh, we'll go quickly. Uh, Saman, are you checking the chat box? Where is the chat box? Here is the chat box. I think first, second question is done. Pakistani passport is also done. I have been uh, on the China 35 for, fa for a past five years. Wow. Using it uh, you now, I used to again in, in a May. Sorry. Um, 35, uh, Dine of 35 for a past five years. And but after the Ramadan, I stopped using it. Now I started it again in the May and was wondering if I can stop taking it now and have a period and then start it again. My period date will be around the June 21st. This is the 21st day pill. And then there will be a Playbo uh, periods of the seven days, and then I start the pill up back again, and I am really confused if I should stop it right now and continue until. I'm confused with all the things. I would just keep taking the pills. Start. Do not stop till you stop your rituals. Period. No, 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 no discolored pills. All same hormone pills. You should be on the twenty-one day pack and keep yeah. taking the twenty-one day pack till the uh, till the Hajj ends. No waiting for your periods, no guessing that whether it's going to happen or not happen. If you want to stop your periods, if you started taking your pills, that's fine. If not, start you know, because you want to stop your periods. If if you want, if you don't want to take any chances or anything, as I say, this, this medication should be started a couple of months before to see if you don't have any breakthrough bleeding. Um, if you've already, because it seems like she already started it. So I would start taking, continue taking it till everything ends. I wouldn't. I wouldn't take the placebo pills, the discolored white or sugary pills in between. I would start the, I'm, it sounds like she's been given 28 day pack. So all the hormone pills finish and then start the other pack with the hormone pill. Don't take the seven discolored pills, the different color pills. I'm calling it discolored, different color pills. So um, I think that some somebody also asked about being able to take the pill if they already have an IUD. I think you covered yes. that, right? Yep. Okay. Yes. okay. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. All right. And what about other questions on like yeah the fusidin yes fusidin i would suggest uh, 3 days after the redness and stuff that is for infection mild steroids is for redness and itching okay um and there is a question about the people used to walk the 10 kilometer or 8 hours a day the compression socks and the soiling in the knee and the pain recommendation hot weather in the so uh, saudi arab because if some people used to wear the knee pads always in here yeah. while walking how do they gonna manage it in the saudi arab because it's so hot and yeah. it's be blister on the knees or something yeah. so you can wear the braces once you start feeling hot take it off just give frequent breaks breaks in between wearing the braces and whatever knee things don't wear the thick ones get the lighter ones um, um pain and stuff you should be getting some pain medications and wherever you get a break please uh, elevate your feet like sit wherever you're sitting just try putting i know it's hard to find a place to elevate your feet but whatever you can do mail us one i'll make it easy for you all of us um any advice to, to you to take medications for blood pressure does it work with the others any advice if you take medications for blood pressure? Does it work with the others? Didn't get the question. You have to take your blood pressure medications. I don't. I didn't get this question. So I guess uh, if you're asking that, uh, should I be taking my medications? Yes, you should be taking your medications. Should I be taking with other medications? Um, the thyroid medications and iron, iron medications are the ones that shouldn't be taken with uh, any other medications. Ideally, uh, you should know by now when you should be taking the blood pressure. Some people take it in the morning. Some people take it at night. Um, I would suggest 
I don't know if you will be taking the blood pressure patterns or if you're feeling dizzy or tired, you can hold your blood pressure medications. If you have gadgets where you can monitor your blood pressure, monitor your blood pressure and take your medication as advised. Doctor, I'm so sorry, you skipped my question and I'm waiting for you to answer it. No, it's okay. What is your question, dear? <laughs> it's, um, um, I had had my period before Ramadan for a year and then uh, I was in Umrah in Ramadan and it started, I didn't take any medication oh. before it or anything. So it started in the, like before I go because of the airplane pressure, it started uh, giving me the period. I took uh, Primolotnor two uh, tablets every two hours. So it stopped and I was able to do my Umrah. Yeah, but then uh, I I kept taking uh, primolotnor uh, afterwards. But uh, the five the last five days of uh, of Umrah, it started and it didn't stop for fifteen days until I came back to Canada and it was so heavy, lots of clots. Uh, stopped on Nathan and since then it didn't show up again. But I know once I take the airplane, it's gonna come back to, yeah. during Hajj. So yeah. what should I do? Yeah. So in your case, what I would do if you have if you had a bad experience with Formula Ten. I would go with the combined pills like Alice or Mirvala or Lolo, something or the other, right? I would take that uh, and start now because it seems like you do spot with changes in pressure, which is a very, which very common condition. And if you are a person who was expecting your periods or wanted to stop your periods, I would start the pilot and not when I saw my periods, I would have taken it before I, my period started. So at this point, I would just say, let's not play any guessing games. Let's start the medications to prevent which, it. Which one? I'm sorry. Which, if if you've had a good experience with Primulet N in the past, yes, you'd be taking it before, like before the travel. Start it at least two to three days before you travel and take it during your uh, time there, and then stop when you want to. And bleeding, yes, you will have heavy bleeding. That's very common side effects from uh, Pravila 10. Okay. My last question, and I know it's going to be very helpful for others. Um, a, a friend of mine told me that you can force the period to come before you go, so it doesn't come when you're there. And that... I haven't, yeah, yeah. I haven't heard of anything. The only way that uh, we do is, like someone has already mentioned, Pravila 10 is used to induce periods too. That is to check, God forbid, if somebody has something wrong with the uterus and stuff we'll give it for 10 days and then stop and then they'll have the period so that tells us the one of the hormones is working so that's what she must be mentioning but there's no way that you can force your periods to happen and then no you don't have control over that i i don't maybe i don't have that much knowledge maybe you run it by a specialist or your family doctor My yes it's a specialist in egypt she told me that it's better to uh, use something called cyclobrigenova. I'm not sure what yes. that is. Cy Cyclocatron. Yes. So she told me to Cy take four, four uh, like it, it comes in two colors or something like this. So I take four ta tablets from the first color and then four tablets from the second color and then stop it after eight days. And I'm asking you to verify this information because I'm thinking of inducing the period. And then maybe after you it, have, to, you have stop, to come up with the exact name. Uh, send Cyclo the exact Brigenova. name to send the exact name to Asia, and I'll yeah. look up. I'll look it up, and I'll let you know. Jazakumullah khairan. Wayaki, wayaki. Asia, you're mute. Asia, you're mute. Yes. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank there you. There is another question by the Narmin. Narmin, what's your question? Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I just have a question. If I'm going to get my period and end before I go for my Hajj, inshallah, uh, my doctor gave me the birth control pills just in case. I shouldn't be worried about getting it again because of the a lot of walking and the heat and all of that, all all of this stuff. Should I take it regardless, or what do I do? See, this is this is your this is an individual uh, this is your individual call. If you are a person who gets your periods regular and never had any irregular periods, you can you can take a chance of not taking it that you know that those are not going to be your cycle days. But if in any doubt that it might happen, I would start the primal to end in your case. All right, thank you. No worries, I'll start the question by 
मिलीग्राम <laughs> और जब वो भी ले सकती हैं आप दस मिलीग्राम लेते रहिए और जब वहां पहुंचे तो फाइव मिलीग्राम से एक्स्ट्रा खा दीजिएगा रात के वक्त अच्छा तो यानी आपका मतलब ये कि मैं एक टेबलेट डेली लेती रहूं लेती रहिए वहां जाके फिर मैं एक टेबलेट के साथ साथ फाइव यानी हाफ उसकी टेबलेट जो है वो एक्स्ट्रा लू लेकिन उसके टाइमिंग किस तरह सेट करूंगी फिर मैं शाम सुबह और शाम क्योंकि आपकी बॉडी ऑलरेडी टेन मिलीग्राम की यूज टू हो चुकी होगी ना जी जी एक्स्ट्रा फाइव मिलीग्राम जस्ट डूइंग इट टू पुश इट एक्स्ट्रा जिनके पीरियड्स को इतना मसला नहीं होता है जो थोड़े दुबले पतले होते हैं उनका मैंने देखा है कि ट्वाइस डेली काम कर जाती है जी आई डी की बजाय बाद लोगों को नहीं करती है लेकिन मैं से भी कहूंगी कि जस्ट टू गेट द मैक्सिम इफेक्ट इफेक्ट एंड नॉट टू गो थ्रू योर पीरियड्स अगर होने होंगे तो जो मैं कह रही हूँ कि होंगे चाहे आप कुछ भी कर लो जितना हम प्रिवेंट कर सकते हैं 19 जून को मैं वहाँ मक्का पहुंचूंगी फर्स्ट डे होगा मेरा वहाँ पर तो जब से 15 ग्राम शुरू कर देनी है बिल्कुल शुरू कर दीजिए didn't i have been taking it every since my periods will be likely stop by june period from coming inshallah inshallah so keep going and yes if it is 7 pm there you have to take time difference jo bhi us hisab se lena hai aapko because your body is used to that uh, time okay uh, sometime with the sweatiness uh, getting itchy in the bur- and the burning sensation doctor in the past has said use the cooling wipe and it will help uh, and but it has a scent any suggestion vaseline was uh, her other suggestion but it feel uncomfortable you suggest me something like the with the pink uh, remember can i stand yes yeah. so if you're talking about the va- vaginal itch uh, get some over the counter can i stand as if that's what they're talking about I'm not sure. Like he just write it this. He didn't say yeah. anything else. So I don't know where you're talking about. If it is just skin, you can try hydrocortisone, the mild one that I mentioned earlier, or the other one that works is an antifungal. If it is in your folds, like in between your legs or in in your armpit or in your elbows, that's when that itchy rash happens. It's like a red red rash with central normal skin. That for that you can use the canestin. Somebody has to look at it. To tell you what okay, is how is a pill with the iod it is a next question and 15 mg and 3 mg consecutive uh, oral hmm asia kya padha hai tumne you said something like uh, 15 mg 3 mg cons- uh, consecutive oral pills uh, uh, for a iod contraceptive oral pills that's what you say yes consecutive oral pills yes i think so uh, are you asking what pills to take on iud you can take any the primalitan or the combined pill the ls or mirvala and with the primatal uh, n1 like is it like a 5 mg or a 10 mg which one you suggest so see i i prefer 5 mg because i can take it three times 10 mg i just take once then i'll have to get another because the dose is 15 mg per day not more than that 10 to 15 mg per day so mensopause like your it has been already answered so i am not reading that question mm-hmm. again because you already told how you going to prescribe the medication and use it mhm what else i uh, doctor recommend me to take the lolo l o l o yeah that's another kind of birth control pill that is low in hormones so i do you think it will work and stop the pain so i'm going to look at my crystal ball and tell you i'm just kidding <laughs> and that's a very valid and a genuine question please don't get offended i um um it's 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 a low dose it's not my personal favorite it's a very low dose hormone pill 
Um, I don't know how long you've been taking it. If you've already started it, some if you're on here, just open up the chat and ask. I can answer your question. If you've already been taking it and you didn't have your periods, then you're good. If you start your periods, then you can get that red uh, pill over the counter from Saudi Arabia. Okay. Should I take Alicina every day for 21 days? Yes, 21 days. And this is, again, another birth control pill, like same as Ellis. To keep taking it till your period periods and you don't stop after if uh, the period to start then this medication going to work or no say it again if the uh, if the periods are started so is this medication going to work during that the uh, having a bleeding period bleeding you should stop you shouldn't be stopping this medication you shouldn't be continuing like you, the, when people write 21 days my confusion is are you just going to take it for 21 days? No, you should be taking, you can stop after 21 days. This is a medication that is holding off your periods. Once you stop, your periods come back. You only stop this medication once everything is finished. Once you think that you don't want to do any bother, you don't want to do any tawafa or anything. Okay. 21 day doesn't mean that it will stop your periods for two, three more, two, three more weeks. No, once 21 day ends, you stop the medication, you'll get your periods in two, three days. Somebody asked, can I use the knee compression? You can. You can. Why not? Try it and see how it goes. If it is getting too much, take it off. You can stop and take it off. Okay. And uh, my doctor gives me Indiago. That I don't know what that is. I have to look at it. I don't know what that is. Okay. I'll my beard team. I-N-D. I-N-D-A-Y-O. I'll look at it and I'll answer what it is. Okay. My periods came on 27th of May and finished on the 2nd of June. My doctor suggests me take the tablets uh, daily from 12th June till the Hajj. What is your suggestion on this? I think this is what we answered. Yes, we already recommendation. answered. General recommendation for the patient with the irregular ball um, disease. Irritable bowel. Yeah. yeah. So this is yeah. constipation, reduce the bloating. Yeah, it is. It is. It is a very common thing. Uh, if I were you, I would start the probiotics at least three to four days before, at least a week before travel. I would keep up with my water. I would take more fruits and vegetables, and um, go according to that. And I would, if I have diarrhea, I would keep uh, emodium. If I'm constipated, then I would take colace and stool softness. Irritable ball uh, ball disease can be a little nuisance while travels too, as it is your stomach is sensitive. So try preparing it now with probiotics and stuff. Somebody asked, can I stop Aliasa 21 and switch to the Primatol N? No, if you, no, 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 no. Too late now. If you're already taking it, please continue. So the one it. who's taking the Aliasa and the birth control pill, they have to be continued that yes. or switch to the, no. uh, the other medication on the Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Too close now because you will start yeah. confusing your body. So what? my, uh, my apologies if I haven't been clear. Whatever you are on, please continue taking that. Don't switch now. People who will be starting Primalert N won't, shouldn't be on anything. They will be starting it at least three to four days before travel. People who have been started on birth control pills, the 21-day pack, please continue taking it. Do not stop. Do not make any changes. Uh, unless you're having any bleeding, then you need to switch it to a stronger one. But if it is not doing anything to your cycles, please don't mess around with your cycles. You are in a very good, safe spot. Continue taking it till your uh, rituals end. Okay. So, but they cannot switch and uh, the other medi no, 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 uh, I medication. I so, can you, um, uh, somebody again asked me, like, uh, asked you the question, Primatol and uh, Primrot, and how many times do they have to use it? Three times okay. a day or one tablet? Three times a day. Yeah. So, uh, let's go over this again. Uh, Primarily 10 comes in two concentrations, five milligrams and 10 milligrams. If you're having a 10 milligrams pill, it is just one pill. That's what you can do. You cannot do more. Unless you want to add something more to it to prevent uh, bleeding, you can add five milligrams. You can do that when you go there. Five milligrams, I like it personally because with that, you can take five milligrams three times a day, 15 milligrams. So those is 10 to 15 milligrams daily. I prefer 15 milligrams because it is higher and you can take it three times a day. So 10 milligrams once daily, five milligrams three times daily. Okay. 
Okay. My husband, somebody said like my husband had just now had the appendix surgery and it was an emergency situation. Any suggestion for making the his hutch smooth with the surgery at it, it, two weeks from now our travel? Yeah. Inshallah. It will be fine. Uh, appendix surgery is very, very, very minor surgery. Inshallah, all will be well. Just make sure that he eats, drinks well. Make sure he doesn't get his any fevers and he's not having any loose stools and stuff. Inshallah, he'll be fine. Just make sure that he's eating well. Okay, after a long taking of the thyroid medication, can I take a birth control pill? Sorry, say it again. After a lo uh, how long taking my thyroid medication, can I take a birth control pill? So four, four to five hours. Okay. So you should be adjusting your timing right now. So you're not, you shouldn't be taking the thyroid medications and um, um, uh, the con birth control pill together. There should be at least three to four hours gap in between. Okay, again, the question, my period is the June, uh, date is 25th of June. When should I start taking up Remelot N? 25th of June. It's going to be happen on the 25th of June. So when should... No, so you should start taking it before you leave from here. A couple of days before you leave. Okay. Don't worry about the... What, what, I believe they say three to four days before your periods. 24th June is cutting very close to the Hajj time, right? So um, I would take it at least uh, uh, two to three days. If you're traveling on the 19th or the 20th, start it and keep taking it till you till your Hajj finishes. Can we please have your number, doctor, just in case you have a problem and concentration? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dr. Noreen is already is going for the Hajj. She's not available in here. Honestly, I'd love to do that, but I have been so slammed, jammed back because I have to be, I feel so bad. But if you forward your questions to Asi and Saman, I'll be more than happy to answer uh, during the night time. But I'm, I'd love to do it. But I'm trying to catch up on my own patients, my own Hajj preparations. Very sorry. I'd love to. I wish we had done this early. But please do share your questions with Asiya uh, and Saman and I'll, I'll answer to my best. Can you recommend the, some probiotic name which you highly yep. recommended? Um, I, I'm not promoting anything. I don't know anybody. Same I as here. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Same as here. We are not, yeah. Yeah, we are not getting anything suggestion. from anybody, but uh, I personally used a line um, and I like a line. So I use these. Tell, and Floristar is another one. Those are the yeah. two that I've already used. If you can get it, just eat a lot of yogurt. It has lots of probiotics. Yeah, but because last year, once we went for the Hajj, we uh, follow your advice. Every single afternoon, we have been eating a cup of yogurt. Yes, and in the morning, we are eating a cup of yogurt. And Alhamdulillah, yeah. it was we yeah. didn't sneeze and have a <laughs> or a cough. We come yeah. back, some of our relatives, and they said, like, it's not look like you guys are done with that. <laughs> because every single Hajjaj <laughs> comes with a whopping cough. Yeah, whooping cough. That's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Addison should be the one that should be taking it. Has whooping cough in it, no? So yeah. Yeah, doctor has given me Yasmina, and I heard it's a very heavy pill, and I never had the birth control pill. What is your opinion on Yasmin? That's okay. That's okay. It's one of the combined pills. Go ahead and take it. There's there they, I know there's been um there were talks about clots with medications. Few of my patients are on it. If you are your family doctor or whoever's prescribed you would have gone through the list of um, uh, side effects and uh, risk factors and they would have prescribed it to you. Okay, the last question, any suggestion for, uh, he write it, she write it like, can, he, uh, can you write it? H-A-E-M-O-R. Hemorrhoid. Hemorrhoid. What yeah. is like oh my hemorrhoid God. Okay. if it get painful during the Hajj? Okay, so uh, number one, lots of water. Number two, keeping fiber up. Number three, um, don't, please don't try to be constipated. The minute you notice that you're backing up, start with stool softeners, start with prune juices, start with the uh, rest relax, get your bowels going. You don't want to end up with a flared hemorrhoid. I would take over-the-counter Anusol H. I will write down the name. And, yes. um, Anusol H, which is over-the-counter. And uh, have it, you use it uh, before and after the bowel movements and in the morning and at night. So that will keep the hemorrhoids small. Uh, sorry, uh, like I'm not escaping the question. Like my window is like shrinking up and yeah. because of so many windows open here. I might be someone's question. I'm really, really sorry. If you are able to write it again, can you write it again? Because like, I don't know what's happening. My window is shrinking and opening. Mm. 
yeah what's your question please write it down i'm really sorry i like and somebody is already asking another question uh, any advice to take blood pressure medications we said that my husband emergency appendicitis after a long birth thyroid we answered that no other drone can you please have your notes sorry okay Thank advice on much. clotting and irregular bowel disease sorry yep that's the same as irritable bowel syndrome so what what, what is the question that is the last uh, question advice on the so same so this is irritable bowel syndrome is uh, pro probiotics is the same you have to take care of your gut health probiotics lots of yogurts lots of water avoiding to get constipated and um, if you're getting constipated including fiber basic 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 things and you should be uh, aware of uh, how you're dealing with your irritable bowel here to deal taking all the medications over there as well so you're not running around and finding medications any experience with a, a primatol and uh, brought from a pakistan is the same effective as a saudi arab their possibility that is the medication is not genuine uh, both they're genuine honestly yeah. it works we, okay. they're all good like okay uh, and the last question is this we can take the uh, period medication uh, pill we have any side effect how to deal it side effects like nausea headaches and stuff those are the side effects that are bearable so if you're having nausea take care of all if you're having tanol take uh, if you're having headache take some pain medication but don't please don't stop stop taking the medications until you're having you're having a, like the symptom that us uh, that someone was having that she looked pale and stuff then i would be thinking but no i won't um, i won't stop i would if there are bearable side effects you should be able to just deal with symptomatic treatments as i just mentioned like nausea gravel headaches uh, okay uh, one another uh, two last question yep. i know like ladies there are so many questions but dr noreen already passed like her... it's okay i'm just going to do a couple of more minutes and i'm going to go yeah, okay. the are looking at my daughter is looking yeah. at to go what to do if i start uh, stopping even when with the alisa 21 once a day have you ever seen the pill falling to stop the periods and the other question i'm combining with this again um stopping okay. the side effect is done okay is supposed to be with the ibd permissible in a ihram for a man i don't know supposedly with ibd uh, 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 yeah that's a medication right so I think ihram mein dawaiyan to nahi mana ki hui hain yeah with the ihram the medication is fine Huh, somebody you know? in this morning asked me like should we apply the walter and gel in our feet because it has a smell i said like yeah. the medication has the smell or something the alcohol yeah. or something it, yeah. it... so ha agar dard hai aur kisi doctor ne kisi wajah se aap le rahe hain main religious point of view se nahi maine kaha tha pehle bhi lekin agar aap kha rahe hain dawaiyan laga rahe hain so i don't think so ke okay, problem yeah it is fine but you can check double check like the yeah. about the medication these for so shake or imam yeah. okay in my situation the last question please um i cannot take any more question after this because dr noreen has to be go and it's a very long session now yeah. in my situation i got my last period in the 14th of april after that i didn't get it i start the uh, nori norti yeah. on 3 times a day according to my doctor recommendation to trigger uh uh trigger the period for 3 days and i left it after 3 days since it's still once week i still i am not getting my period should i wait or start taking the medication again my age is 45 i don't know what you're doing <laughs> honestly <laughs> this is a little confusing um do you want to copy paste this on the thing i don't it doesn't make it's not making sense to me asia because okay. said, um, i think this is the, the the you know that other lady was asking that to induce the periods this is yes. what the doctor was to get an early period and then do it i've never done it um i've done it for people with abnormal bleedings maybe this is something they they the doctors are confident about i'm not um so i wouldn't recommend uh, um i i would recommend the same thing that i'm saying if this has already happened just start taking the primalut n or the norethisterone 3 to 4 days before you leave and continue taking till you finish okay thank you so much noreen for yes. joining yes. us and for a wonderful session and inshallah it will beneficial beneficial for many more who judge who are coming for our coming up here inshallah we'll upload this session and because it's a very very important information especially for the women 
and exactly. very very last moment we the all the moments got confused because some doctors said this and especially once we are going for the male doctors they have total other point of view yeah why you are worried about this no no worries but i'm just going to say it again as i said it's not stepping on anybody's toes this is to work yeah. to with my knowledge and skill this is what i do with my patients different doctors have different approach and i'm going to say those are not wrong approaches because medicine yes. is just a, such a vast field that different doctors have different approaches and if anything that had i tried my best i hope i didn't share anything wrong if anything that has ma- not made sense to you and if you have further questions to it please forward it to us in summon and i'm more than happy to answer them and uh, good luck with the, your hajj hopefully everything goes smoothly and inshallah please keep us all in your prayers and please keep summon and asia in your prayers too because they've started this platform and alhamdulillah it's uh, hopefully all goes well Good thank you so you. much for all your help dr naeem and inshallah may allah subhanahu subhan wa ta'ala bless all of you the wonderful journey of hajj and you will have like a uh, good help out the other hujjaj uh, once you are done with your hajj inshallah and inshallah. Uh, forget us for uh, in your prayers inshallah and- Thank you, Saman, for such a busy schedule. Even though Saman joined us every single minute, I dragged Saman everywhere with me. <laughs> so much, Saman, and thank you so much, Doctor Noreen, for everything. No worries. And yeah, worries. thank you so much, Jazakallah, for helping us when we were going, thank and you. you know, Jazakallah for helping us thank now. You. Thank you. Thank uh, you. No worries. Thank you. Now, if people remember your face, they'll spot you at Hajj. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Take care, everyone. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.